Today we're going to talk about one of the most important, if not the most important, uranium regions on the planet, and that is the Athabasca Basin in northern Saskatchewan, Canada. For well over half a century, uh, that area has been producing numerous mines and developments and exploration results uh, that have excited the world. And here are the four reasons why Saskatchewan remains the, the premier uranium district in the world. The first point that people should know is that 100% of Canada's uranium does come from that area. Canada produces about 20% of the world's uranium. It's the second largest producer in the world, and it all comes from the Athabasca Basin. At its peak, MacArthur River uh, was producing about 18% of the world's uranium. And even now, after the restart, uh, which is not right up to speed yet, it's still a major contributor uh, on a global scale. What this means to investors is that if you're investing in companies that are operating in this particular region, you're not dealing with a fringe element or a, a new theory or a new thought. You're actually investing in a core engine of Western uranium production uh, that has decades of infrastructure strength and, and experience in this particular market. Now, the second point about uh, the Athabasca Basin, and this is one that's probably fairly well known, is that it is producing the highest grade uranium in the world could be 50 to 100 times that of what is typically seen uh, in other parts of the world. Uranium is mined on average at about 0.1%, 0.2% ore grade, yet in the basin, uh, quite regularly, we're seeing 5%, 10%, 20% uranium. We're seeing pockets as high as 50% uranium. Uh, so it, is, it is quite novel in that regard. To put that in perspective, one ton of ore, uh, on a global average, you're looking at getting two pounds of uranium out of. Whereas Athabasca ore, out of one ton, you're looking at 200 pounds or more. What this means in mining is that smaller mines are coming up with far more product than you would see around the world. You're also seeing that the economics of these mines are far more profitable. And you're seeing that drill results are far more impactful when they hit the newsstands. What this means to investors is that if companies you're watching and following and investing in are operating in northern Saskatchewan, you don't need a monster in order to create some massive value. Now, point three, and what a lot of people don't realize, is beyond the grade, the Athabasca Basin is quite prolific. And what I mean by that is over the last 60 years, there has been as many as 38 deposits discovered and defined, which roughly turns out to one every 18 months. And those deposits aren't necessarily getting smaller. Some of the bigger discoveries that have been made have just been made in the last five to 10 years. And the reason for this seems to be the facts, a number of facts, actually. Uh, one is that it's fairly structurally rich. Uh, we have a number of very specific corridors that we can continue looking on, the Patterson, Alliston, uh, a number of others uh, that, that, that have proven to be very prolific over the years. It's uh, geophysically responsive, which means that uh, there's been a lot of geophysics that we've tested and tried over the decades in this area. And, uh, and from an exploration standpoint, we've been uh, to, to learn a lot uh, as to how it works and how it guides us and directs us towards those deposits. And finally, the big reason is it's still fairly unexplored. It is a large area with a lot of areas at depth on fringes that really haven't been looked at properly yet. And, and we will continue to, uh, to look in those areas. So for investors, what this means is the odds of discovery in this area are materially better than you're going to find anywhere else in the world. And all this brings us to point four, which is the fact that Saskatchewan is a stable permitting environment with a great deal of infrastructure in the areas that, that we're looking, at, looking for uranium, developing and mining. What we see is that it, it's a home of a very skilled workforce. It's, uh, there's a great deal of infrastructure and roads and power infrastructure right across the areas that, that we work within. And, and there's a large degree of service providers available to us who understand the air from, from drilling and camps and, and, and fuel and all sorts of the things that we use up there to look for and produce uranium. So this ecosystem gives us a real operating advantage. It makes it far more fluid and easy, if you will, to work in the area. Uh, we have full government support who understands the risks, who understands the industry very well and supports it highly. And, and we have all the resources at hand that we need to do the job that we're doing. What this means to investors is that projects in the Athabasca Basin are more likely to be advanced. They're more likely to be funded. They're most likely to be permitted. And they're most likely to be finding JV partners or acquirers. So to recap, Saskatchewan's Athabasca Basin is the premier uranium district on the planet for a variety of reasons. Number one, it is home to 100% of Canada's uranium. 
and, and always has been. Uh, number two, it has the highest grade uranium, uh, highest grade ore bodies in the world. Uh, number three, it's highly prolific. It just keeps giving and giving. And number four, it worked in a stable and supportive jurisdiction with, with significant and uh, infrastructure. For investors, it's quite simple. If you're looking for high impact exploration upside, there's no better place to be positioned than in Saskatchewan. And if you found this, uh, this information useful, I suggest you watch a few more.